Welcome to the No Face Show. Um, and I, I'm curious, like you always, you, you you have that vision of the future. So, do you see, where where do you see the industry? Do you do you see Spotify growing more, or do you see maybe uh, a potential end to the whole streaming services uh, world, or do you see that even growing? Like, what what's obviously you know, no one really knows, but it'd be just really interesting to know your opinion on it. Yeah, I mean, I've thought about it. I I don't know. There, no one's got the answer. There, you know, there needs to be an answer. And a lot of people are trying to figure it out. But the truth of the matter is that the major labels love Spotify. They work closely with them. They're able to make sure their artists get playlisted. Um, you know, Spotify, I, I, there's, I, Spotify put this out, I think a couple of years ago, um, or, or maybe last year, where they've only playlisted like 70,000 artists, songs that come through pitching to Spotify directly. So, I mean, there's 60,000 songs up, uploaded into Spotify every day. They've only taken 70,000 over the past several years. So you as a new artist, if you pitch to their curators, your chances of actually getting your song playlisted are about as good as winning the lotto. And that's crazy because this is supposed to be beneficial for the new artist, for the unsigned artist. But the reality is the labels came in and they control the whole situation and they made it beneficial for them. I don't know how to avoid that. I, I don't, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. I know that Spotify right now is, doesn't like third party curators. They don't want people to have their own playlists. Um, mm -hmm. And so I don't, I've heard they may go the route of Apple where, you know, it's just their curated playlists. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that will be beneficial or if that won't, but really it, it's, you know, this was supposed to be beneficial for the unknown artists to be able to get heard. And the truth is there's some amazing songs out there and some very talented artists that never get anything. They're uploading song after song after song. And then you look on a Spotify curated playlist. And if there's 35 songs on there, it's by 12 artists. Justin Bieber's got three songs. DJ Khaled's got four songs. Yeah. It, it, what is the point of this? So maybe there needs to be some regulation put in where, okay, you, you know, this playlist that's got 2 million followers on it, let's just put one Justin Bieber song. You, you know, maybe let's throw in an, an up and coming artist. Let, let's give somebody the chance. That's what Spotify should be doing. And I think if they did that, it would be beneficial for them and everyone because you'd start to be able to find up and coming talent who could be superstars instead of, well, I listen to a play. I mean, the Hot 100 right now has got 10 songs by DJ Khaled. Because he released his new one, album right now, yeah. And so One guy has got 10 <laughs> songs on the Hot One guy. I mean, like, what is going on here? How is that beneficial to all these other upcoming artists if one guy holds 10% of the entire chart? Yeah, and here in the chat we got Bat Monkey saying that you're completely reading his heart. So he's like, he's happy that someone <laughs> finally thinks like him because he he has mentioned yeah that I feel that frustration. <laughs> so yeah, yeah and I Monkey feel it too <laughs> because I work with artists and I don't have the magic solution. Nobody does. Even the late like Spotify is its own little world. Labels don't know how it works. They continually change the algorithm. They continually change how they playlist songs they are in control of the music industry. It's not even the record labels anymore. So people yeah. complained and said, well, the record labels control the music industry. Well, now they don't even control it. Now it's Spotify, a company that what they should get paid. Um, and they're controlling, well, how people hear music other than the listener. You know what? We're just not going to use Spotify anymore. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go directly to the artist, maybe, and I'm going to stream directly to the artist. I, I don't know what the answer is, but we've seen the Taylor Swifts of the world fight back. Spotify still won. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, what what will it take? I have no idea, but some streams on Spotify and you'd be lucky to get two grand. Yeah. There's no money to make.